Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. The message I heard is, he's a hard guy, but he still has a heart. Holy. <clears throat> the scripture comes from Ephesians 6 and 5. The servants obey the masters according to the flesh with fear and trembling and the simplicity of your heart as to the Christ, not with eye service as men pleasers, but as servants of the Christ, doing the will of God out of your soul, serving with good will as to the Lord and not to men, having known that whatever good thing each one may do, this he will receive from the Lord, whether servant or free man. Okay, here's the message for somebody. Um, this is someone like you look at this person. God has told you that this person is supposed to be your person, and the way that you look at them, and the way that they are acting, the way that like the what they are showing you <clears throat> is the opposite of what God described to you when speaking to you about them. God said. Everything is more than what it seems. It's like everything is not what it seems. And <clears throat> God has been saying that in a lot of messages, y'all. Like in a lot of messages, God has been saying everything is not what it seems. Everything is not as it seems. Everything is not what it seems. Everything is not as it seems. And for somebody, you are feeling like this person is not showing themselves to be who God said that they were. <clears throat> God is saying just because they act a certain way on the outside doesn't mean that there's not something else on the inside. And um, this person is not, it's like they not falling in line with what you would assume. And it's because they not in this servitude type place. This is not someone that is working for Christ. Everybody is not working for God. Everybody is not doing the work of God. Everybody is not putting forth effort to do as God wants them to do, what God commands them to do. There's some people that's just doing their own thing. <clears throat> and, you know, um, <clears throat> this is somebody that they not, they not doing exactly as God asked them to do. They don't do exactly what God commands them to do. And they are not in a position that, like, uh, how do I say it? They're not in a position of authority when it comes down to God's kingdom. And it was 333 as I say that. It's not, they not in a position of authority when it comes down to God's kingdom. But they may have authority in their own right. This is somebody that is working for themselves. <clears throat> Just as it say, the servants obey the masters according to the flesh with fear and trembling. And not with skipping forward. Um in the simplicity of your heart as to the Christ, not with eye service as men pleasers, but as servants of the Christ. So for whoever you are, you are a servant of God. You do do what God commands you to. You are in the service of obeying God and doing exactly as God wants you to do. Meanwhile, this person, they're not. They're going to do what they want to do. When they want to do it, how they want to do it. They not asking no and ifs or buts about it. They don't care about what God thinks about the matter. They going to do what they want to do. And as quiet as it's kept, God is saying that even though he see that. But he also sees things that you can't see as far as how this person feel in their heart. And when God looks into their heart, there's some good in it. 
And, you know, as bad as it may seem on the outside, God is saying that he sees good in their heart, especially when it comes to you. And you may not even be able to tell. You know, sometimes, um, like I said, this is a situation where everything is not as it seems. It seems like everything is falling apart. And sometimes it will seem like everything is falling apart. Meanwhile, everything really falling into place. And God has said this is a situation where it seemed like everything falling apart, but everything is not as it seems. God said this person, the way they feel about you, they're not going to be able, for somebody, God has said they are not going to be able to stay away from you. They are not going to be able to, um, they not. They'll say it out their mouth. Out their mouth, they'll say that they don't need you. Out their mouth, they'll say that they, they, they was doing just fine by themselves. Out their mouth, they'll say they could get another you and this, that, and the third. First of all, it's impossible. There is no other you. There is no other you. There is no other you. They not going to find it. They may go out and find somebody that looks similar to you. But when it comes down to it, personality-wise, nothing like you. They may be able to find somebody that even um, <clears throat> acts a little like you. But when it comes down to it, your accomplishments and what you have done with your life, completely different from you. They may be able to find somebody that has similar accomplishments to you. But when it comes down to it, don't look nothing like you, don't act nothing like you. They not finna find somebody that just check off every single box. They not. It's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. <clears throat> and God is saying that this is somebody, like I said, they going to do, they doing what they want to do because they are not in servitude of God. But he watching you. God is watching you because you are in servitude of God. So you may think to yourself, it's not fair that God is just allowing this person to go and do what they want to do. God said, yeah, they can do what they want to do. But guess what? They're not going to find what they're looking for. They can go out and, you know, chase after this one, that one, and the third. But in the end, they're going to be wasting their time. They can go out and it's like it, it's more than one way to, to get this here done. <clears throat> like the saying, it's more than one way to skin it. You know what I'm saying? I, I, like, I, I can't, you know what I'm saying? But I, 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 I can't say it all here. But God has said it's more than one way to accomplish this task. It's not a situation where God can only do just, no. When it comes to his servants, he expects us, if he tells us to do something, he expects us to listen, and that's it. But when it comes to people that's not serving God, that's not working for God, that's not under his will and under his protection and his guidance, they're going to do whatever. <clears throat> that don't mean they're going to accomplish it. Just because they say out their mouth, they gone and they finna go do this, that, and the third. Baby, God said for somebody, this person gonna be back. And for somebody, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't don't worry yourself about what this person talk about. Don't worry yourself and stress yourself. It's not gonna be confirmation. It's not gonna be a situation where they, they oh, oh, they gone. And they going to have this, that, and the third. Baby, the this, that, and the third, God said he will shut all that down. He will cause so much confusion. And I know this from, like, like I just feel like from my own personal experience, just from standpoint, let's say you in a position where you have met, you know, three people, four people, five people, whatever. And God said, you met somebody at that party that is your spouse. And you're like, which one? What you mean? I met a bunch of people. I, I said hello to a bunch of people. I waved at a bunch of people. What person? And God will cause calamity to happen in every single situation except the one where you're supposed to be there. <clears throat> Sometimes God will allow calamity to happen in that situation too and shut everything down. And then you just sitting, you know what I'm saying? And you minding your business and here come the person that you're supposed to be with. Like, I just feel like God is saying he's going to make it obvious to you that this person is the one for you. Whereas with any other situation, any other scenario, it's going to fall apart. 
For some of y'all, it, it's just gonna fall apart. For some of y'all, like, um, I'm being reminded of this message that God gave me about a week or two weeks ago. That for someone, when you and your person come together, y'all, like, you gonna get pregnant so fast. Like, it's gonna be scary, and it's not gonna make sense. <clears throat> you could have been uh, the type of person that you, like, you know what I'm saying, never, never, you never experienced it. You might even have it fixed in your mind that you can't have kids. God said, he going you gonna get pregnant so quick. It's gonna be quick, and it's gonna be scary, and it's gonna be fast, and it's gonna be, but it's because, like, that's like, God has been shielding you from having kids with anybody else. God has been shielding you from being with anybody else. God has been shielding you from experiencing being with somebody. But, you know, like I said, I've, I've experienced that. Well, I was just, you know, minding my bitch, just chilling. Go and say, you about to meet somebody. You about to meet your person. What? How? That don't even make sense. You know what I'm saying? And um, for whoever this is for, God is going to tell you who the person is that's your person. It's not going to be a situation where God is not going to tell you who this person is. But another thing that I'm going to say, if God does tell you who the person is, don't tell them. Do not tell them. Do not tell them. Because they actions, like... I, I I just feel like um you don't want to be in a position to where you tell this person that God sent you to them and they start acting as if they can do whatever they want to. Because there are some people that they will get so cocky, they'll be like, oh, that means you ain't going nowhere. You don't want it to be a situation where they got a demon on their shoulder and you didn't tell them, oh, God told me that we supposed to be together. And they laugh like, are oh, we supposed to be together? And now they want to go and sleep with this one, that one, this one, that one. They go over here, they over there. <clears throat> Don't do that. Keep it to yourself. Keep it to yourself. Keep it to yourself. <clears throat> we are living in a time where demons are running rampant. So don't be that person that you going up to somebody telling them that God said that you're supposed to be with them. Because here's another thing. Everybody got free will. And in some cases, it could be a situation where you tell that person that. And because they got whatever demons that they got going on, they literally do the opposite of what they're supposed to do. Or what they would have done if you wouldn't have said nothing at all. Sometimes you, you just got to let them do what they're going to do. Sometimes there'll be a situation where you know... Go ahead and told you you're supposed to be with that person. And y'all then completely stop talking to each other. Y'all don't even talk to each other no more. Y'all ain't talk to each other in days, weeks, months, years. But you know that God said you're supposed to be with them. And it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's some people, they, like, they person end up with a counterfeit for years. They end up married to a counterfeit. They didn't went off and did this, that, and the third with a counterfeit. But God said when it come down to it, do not tell this person that y'all supposed to be together. Do not tell this person that y'all supposed to have a happily ever after. And you know what I'm saying? There are situations where I've seen where God will tell somebody you're supposed to be with this person. You was supposed to be with that person. They didn't decide that they're going to do this, that, and the third. And now you free to go and be with somebody else. God that sent you a replacement. Seriously. And um, I'm just thinking about how in the movie, the movie, The Adjustment Bureau, how it was supposed to be at one point in time, it was meant for the guy, the politician and the dancer to be together. And then certain things happened and it changed. And then it changed again. And then it changed. And it's just like, we there's so many possibilities when it comes to the fact that we have free will and a lot of times people say why like i've heard some people that are like atheists or people that are into new age and all this say that they don't believe that it would make sense for god the almighty god that has so much power and he could do anything to create us and just watch us 
But see, it's, it will be different if we only could do what God wants us to. But we have free will. And there are some people that literally fail every single test that they supposed to that they were supposed to pass. They fail every single test. Like you have to think about it. People that are into same sex relationships, they were supposed to be with somebody. They were supposed to be with somebody of the opposite sex, but they chose to live their life a different way. So would it be fair for that other person that they were supposed to be with to be by themselves? There are people that, you know, end up passing on early. There are people that end up um, going through. There are so many different calamities. There are people that end up strung out on drugs. There are people that, there are so many different things that happen to people. So you have to think, if this person, when you look at somebody, you think they didn't fail every test. And you have to understand that one of those tests at some point in time has to have to do with the person they are ordained to be with. If they not with their ordained spouse, is it a situation where their ordained spouse is just going to be by themselves forever? Or is it a situation where God is going to send them to somebody else? And they ordained spouse decided to do something else. They ordained spouse decided to do this, that, and the third. And... And it could also be a situation where both spouses are mirroring each other. One over here doing this and one over there doing that. But we have to understand it's a realm of possibilities. You could be with somebody. They supposed to be your spouse. They supposed to be your soulmate. And every time you turn around, they are making a choice to sleep with somebody else. The Bible says as soon as somebody breaks the covenant, you have all rights to leave. And you could go and be with somebody else. God said it's not a situation where you just got to sit there and accept that. So I just feel like um, for whoever this is for, long story short, God said this person, they do have a good heart. And they have a heart towards you too. Like even if you cannot tell this person does have a heart towards you, they have a heart for you they have feelings for you like they have love for you but they are not showing it because they are not in a position of servitude it's not a situation where you are just i feel like whoever this is for you are just accepting whatever they dish out and you are just kind of like dang why they keep doing me like this and why do i have to accept it meanwhile if you do the little bitty thing the littlest thing you could even be following sweet suit to what they doing. You know what I'm saying? You notice that they always um, chasing after somebody else. You notice that they always, you know what I'm saying, got their hand in somebody's cookie jar. You notice that they always taking somebody on a date. They doing this, they doing that. And you say, okay, fine, I'm going to go do my own thing. Now, all of a sudden, here this person is harassing you and making you out to be the bad guy. In reality, God is saying that it's because you are in a position of servitude to Christ. And because you are in a position of servitude to Christ, it is expected there's a higher standard for you than it is for them. It's expected that you're going to do what God said, not what you feel like. It's expected that you're going to do exactly as God is commanding you to do, not just what you want to do. And this person is like, in, in a sense, some, for somebody, they testing you. And they trying to see what you're going to do. And you know what I'm saying? I know me personally, I don't like I don't like nobody testing me. I, I like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't even like when God give me tests. It makes me nervous. I don't like it. I don't like it. And I don't like it some more. But for somebody, this person likes to give out tests. And they like to give out, they like pop quizzes and all this kind of stuff. And I just feel like for whoever this is for, for somebody, you, you've been flunking these tests like like crazy. But it's because you, like, it, it, like I, I just feel like it's it's kind of like a, so you have a teacher. They You haven't went to not one class. You haven't studied anything. You haven't, you know, you have no material, no course material, and they're expecting you to pass the test. How? How? How you going to pass the test and they you don't have nothing to go off of? How? 
And I just feel like that's the kind of position you in. You scratching your head like, why are you giving me this test? You haven't even... Had, what? Anyways, that's the message. And then that also goes in line with the fact of how it says this is a free man. This is somebody. They are a free agent. It's not a situation where they're going to do exactly as God wants to do. God, they're not in servitude to God. And because they are more so in a position of somebody that is in charge, they're giving you tests because they in a position of being in charge. They're not in a position of listening to what God say. And because they like that, that, that's just what they do. And I just feel like you are in a position of somebody that should be passing the test. But instead of passing the test, you kind of just doing your own thing. You listening to God while simultaneously, it's like this person is trying to give you tests. And we already know, you know, we, we can't have two masters. And your master is God. And this person, they, they own thing. They doing their own, they their own master. They doing their own thing. And I just feel like for whoever this is for, God has said it's causing a, like, this is causing a lot of confusion. I'm getting confused just talking about it. But I feel like this person is kind of like, um, charge all this away. Anyways, this person is, uh, testing you. And they, they not happy with the fact that you are not passing these tests like they would expect. But anyways, that's the message, y'all. Um, God said, even though it looks like this person is being very mean, they do have a kind heart towards you. It's kind of like I'm being reminded of some teachers that I've had in the past, and they will be so mean. And sometimes some of the meanest teachers really have the sweetest heart on the inside. But you know what I'm saying? They just come off that way. And I just feel like this is somebody they serious about what they're doing. And for somebody, they serious about you. But you can't tell that they serious about you because they got this mean, uh, they being mean to you. And I'm not saying that I like that because I didn't have some teachers that they was just mean because they, they was, uh, racist or they was just mean because they, they felt some kind of way or whatever. But this is somebody, they being mean because they are, it's like they are, uh, trying to guard their heart. They're trying to guard their emotions towards you they not trying to let you know how they feel about you but in reality they got a lot of love in, inside of them towards you and because of this they kind of like protecting themselves from you and you know it's interesting because i feel like for somebody you feel like this person act like they don't trust you they act like they scared of you or they feel like you're gonna do them some kind of harm and the crazy thing is, they may be acting in that way, but in reality, the harm that they really are scared of is what you can do to their heart, not what you can do to them physically, not what you can do. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know some people in certain situations and job professions, a woman will set a man up. So I can understand how a man could like, you know, feel some kind of way about a woman or think a kind of way about a woman. But when it come down to it, this person, even if they trying to put on a show like that's what they trying to protect, they trying to protect their heart from you. And that's the message. God said, even though this person seems like they are so hard and they so like on the inside, they trying to figure you out. And on the inside, they are giving you test after test after test. And God said, in reality, this person, if they your person, if this is the person that God have for you, they are not going to be able to stay away from you. They are not going to be able to just call it quits. They are not going to be able to just throw in the towel. They are not, they are not, they are not. They're going to find some kind of excuse as to why they are calling, pulling up, doing this, doing that. And if they don't, they just not the one for you. If they don't, they could be the one for you. But guess what? God will send you somebody else. And that's the message. It's not going to be a situation where you got to be miserable, alone, and sad, and depressed because this person don't want to act right. God said this person, in reality, is not in servitude to him. So it's not a situation where they not going to just follow the commands of God. 
God may very well be telling them that what they're doing is wrong. They're not trying to hear that. They, this is somebody that is not in servitude to Christ. They may not even be able to hear the voice of God. They like It may be a situation where they're seeing signs and wonders, and it's going right over their head. Because they can't, they they are not in servitude to God. And they're not going to follow it anyways because they're not in servitude to God. That's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.